What's going on, gamers? Welcome back to another episode of How to Play Like the Pros. If this is the first time you ever came to the channel, I don't know why you haven't already been a part of the channel, but drop a like, subscribe, and turn your notification bells on. So today, we are using the New York Jets defensive playbook, how to stop the scratches in the inside zones. Now, to make sure you are not at a disadvantage, make sure if you play playing like online rank head to head, you have the reinforcements, you have the enforcers. But in this video, I'm gonna put you in a better uh, position to be successful with run defense. So the first thing we're gonna do is the cover four drop show two. And also out of the New York Jets, you can use the three, four bear. So we're gonna use cover four drop show two, and then you can, we're gonna do random run, and you can use a lot of different defenses. First thing you need to do is see what the power side of the uh, formation is. So his tight end is over there. That means that he has an extra blocker. So what I do is base a line, blitz all linebackers, crash line down. That's simple. Wide triangle, uh, left stick to the right is base a line, and then right D pad, and then right stick down, blitz all linebackers, left D pad, and then right stick down and slant inside. It'll be looking like that. So we have base, so we're going to reset the play. So we're going to base a line, blitz all linebackers, crash D line down, and that's what it'll look like. So whenever you see single coverage on the side, so this is the strong side of the formation. You can push Y, Y triangle, go to X, push left stick to the right, put him in a soft zone. He will turn into like a man coverage type uh, situation. So he will follow that route. You don't have to worry about that. So now on this situation to make the run even better, like I said in the previous video, push Y or triangle, go down where it says A individual, hit that, see where Y is the running back highlighted, hit that, and then push A spotlight receiver. So now they are gonna be more aggressive on the run. So we're gonna let it run through right now. And you can see the block shares, they just body slamming people because they're not worried about a play action pass. They're not worried about a jet sweep. They are worried about the running back. So that's something that you want to do. If your opponent runs the ball on first down, he runs the ball on second down. Don't fully commit to it right then, but on the next time, don't give him a chance. On first down, you see his tendencies. He want to run the ball, run the ball, and then he finally passes. When you force him to, go here, spot that uh, running back, and then you can see everybody is coming in aggressive. He just body slams that guy off of him. And this is the New York Jets. So imagine if you have a crazy defensive lineman like uh, the Bears or something like that. So the Green Bay Packers have a real good offensive line, but these people are aggressive. They are coming after that ball carrier. Base line, blitz all linebackers crash down. And then we got the single coverage on that side. So we're gonna put him in a soft flat. He's gonna man up. And then you always don't leave nobody stuck. Just bring people around for better run situation. So right here, I will even take the chance to just uh, man him up. You know, I make a couple of adjustments, three to four adjustments, every play is good. You can play stock, put a spy on the field, that'll help with most pass coverages. But as far as stopping the run and the glitchy stuff, you gotta make at least three or four adjustments. So you just gotta practice it. The basic is base a line, blitz all linebackers, crash the defensive line down, which is slant inside. So we're looking for a trap or inside zone. There's a trap and you can see we didn't even ID the running back that time, but that setup where everybody in the run fits was so glitchy that they got the one-on-one -on -one block sheds. I like to bring him in the gap, bring him down a couple steps, shade over the top. And then right here, we gonna uh, spot like that running back. It's a chance that they might pass it, but we wanna spot like that running back just in case. And don't leave him out of the play. Bring him down if there's no threat over there. Don't be afraid to take a couple seconds, move people around. So the strong side is on the right side. There he is with a pitch. We gonna click off with the enforcer or the reinforcement, and then we gonna get a fumble. And we turn that into a touchdown on the defensive side. Remember, offense is fun, defense wins championship. All I did was line my guy up and click off. Once you got the reinforcement or the enforcer, they usually have tackle supreme or uh, unfakeable. So you can see, he pitches it, he chop blocks the first guy. It's just me and this guy out here available. So he takes more time to jump over the pile, I click off, 
boom. Soon as he gets ready to come down, soon as he gets ready to come down, boom, knocked his head off. Let's go. So we're going to base a line. Blitz all crash down. We're going to ID. So you can see single receiver over there. So we don't have to worry about it now. Now we're going to spotlight that guy. It's real fast. We're going to spotlight that guy. We got that single receiver coverage over there. We can break him down the list closer. We don't want uh, no kind of crazy block sheds. And the player's all set up. All you got to do is just the trailing technique. Identify. There's the pitch. Identify. Get out there. Click off. Don't be a fool. In Madden 20, in the open space, it's real easy to juke people, maneuver, get extra yards that you don't deserve. You know what I mean? So right here, everybody is caught in the inside. And that's our reinforcement coming down with a good block shed. So everybody is caught. And you can see that soft zone over there. He's going to play any single wide receiver like man coverage. So he's going to stop any streak down the field. It's going to take a long time to develop. And then out routes, he's going to play that real, real good. Every time I get in this vicinity, you know, because he might stiff arm right there. I click off. I want the computer to do whatever the computer is possible at doing. So we're going to base a line, blitz down, crash, and it's going to look like that. There we go with the single receiver, soft flat. I like to use that 90% of the time. Now I'm gonna put these guys better in a situation. That's my enforcer over there. So if you block him, GG. So we're gonna spotlight this guy. He's been showing us that he wants to run and we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna cheat down, but we're not gonna cheat all the way down. So there he is with the trap. You just have to watch the play as it develops. Don't just go shooting through a hole and get yourself out of position. So I can see a trap or a draw. So there I am, these guys pull. Both of them are pulling, that lets me know trap. So I come to the inside, that guy is following me, I run back to the outside. He might stiff arm that guy, break loose, I wanna come right here so I can click off and get the tackle. If y'all enjoyed these type of breakdowns, drop a like right now and we will get into the 3-4 bear once I see that the likes and the comments and the reshares. My link in the description has my Facebook that I just started up, my Twitter, my Patreon, all that type of good stuff to help you be more effective in Madden 20. So you can see he tries to run it right there and the block sheds are crazy. With the spotlight or without the spotlight, they are getting in there. The better the team, the better the personnel, the better your success. I'm out.